This video will show you how to use the keypad arrows uh, on Ready to manipulate data. Uh, to manipulate data, so you can normally easily manipulate the cursors with the touch uh, screen using the different uh, icon to resize and move cursor and so on. But all those actions you can also do them with the arrow keypad. So, if I show you how to do it, uh, first thing you need to notice is at the bottom of your screen, right here in the, in the lower uh, left corner of the uh, view, you can see what is the status uh, currently for the keypad uh, mode. So when you see four arrows like this, it means that using the arrows will move the cursor. So if you click once, it moves by one uh, pixel or one channel. If you maintain the cursor, it's going to accelerate and move faster. So by default, the cursor is always in uh, move mode. If I want to change the mode, operating mode of the arrow, I need to press the upper button, which will cycle into the different modes available for the C-scan. So if I uh, press on it, I can see the different possibility that I have. Move cursor, resize, zoom, and pan. So clicking multiple times just move through the list. So if I go to zoom, now pressing left or right will zoom along the x-axis. And pressing the up and down arrow will move along, zoom along the uh, y-axis. So let's say I want to uh, set my cursor to precisely measure one individual defect that I have in this scan. So what I can do is to um, select the C-scan where I want to set my, my cursor and I can move it on top of the defect I want to measure. So the arrow allows much more precise movement than the touch screen. So now my defect is selected, but the selection is too wide. So resize cursor is the second option. So I can click twice on the button. Now I'm on resize. I can resize along the x-axis this way. I can press once to go back to move, and I can fine-tune my movement again. If I want to zoom in, I will press three times to go to the zoom and then I will move on the location. And I can press 1 to move again. So I'm right on the defect. The, if I want to uh, pan the data, it's going to be the last position where I can recenter this signal on screen. So once you work with this, you kind of remember how many clicks you need to do to come back to come to a specific uh, function. So two click is always resize, one click is always for moving. So this is how you can set uh, cursors, position and size with the keypad. The uh, cursor mode, the keypad mode, uh, is uh, related to the current view. So you can see that right now it's the upper left C-scan that has an orange rectangle around it. So this is the current one. If I move to uh, or if I click the Lissajou view on the right side, then I have other uh, keypad modes. If I click on the button to cycle in the different mode, I can see that I have move, resize, so this is the same, but I also have pan and scale and rotate. This is for the Lissajou. So if I click, I go up to the pan, I can move left and right to move the data in the Lissajou. If I go to the scan and rotate, then up and down is changing the scale, and right or left is rotating the data one degree at a time. So again, you can easily change your um, setting with the arrows. You want to come back to the active view being the C-scan, you can click 
this button here that will change the active view. So you click until the rectangle, the orange rectangle, is back on the C scan you want to move. And now you can again change this mode and resize whatever you want or move the way you want. You can go back and zoom out and get back to your full data. So this concludes this video.